Hey guys, still here and welcome back to ICBM. Today there is a strategy that I want to test out that I haven't tried yet, and it's the Red October strategy. We're going to be playing Russia and we're going to be relying on nuclear submarines. Before I do that, however, I wanted to get your attention for uh, Amazon Prime Day. Now, this is not a sponsored video or anything, but I imagine that quite a few are ordering or will order stuff on Amazon Prime Day, which is a day where you can get quite a lot of discounts. If you use the link down below in the description, I'm getting a small cut, and by doing that, you're immediately supporting myself and the channel. It's a small thing for you, but it can really help me out. So, link down below in the description through which you can buy stuff through my Amazon link. Now, let's set up a new game. Let's select Russia and start with an ICBM strategy, or sorry, an SSBN strategy. What will I need for that? Um, Let's get rid of everything. It'll be a, a different or a difficult balance to strike. Because I have to figure out a way to defend my cities. So, anti-missile defense. And, at the same time, have enough research going on to build boomers. That's going to be a tricky balance to strike. I'm at least going to get a couple of SAM sites. Um... This is going to allow me to see, or well, not so much see, but defend, at least a bit, some anti-ballistic missile defenses. Uh, what else? Silent engines are going to help with torpedoes. And the improved silent engines will also make my submarines faster. So my submarines and my SSBNs. SSBN is Submarine Nuclear Ballistic. That's what the B stands for. So these are ballistic missile submarines. Uh, let's go with an actual couple of SAM sites, and then probably a whole, I don't know, two megaton bombs. That's it. Alright, and um, as for allies, I would like to get East Asia involved as an ally, and maybe go on the offensive against Europe and the United States. Now, of course, you cannot have a Red October strategy without Son Connery, so there is something that he wants to say. Chief, once more, we play our dangerous game. A game of chess against our old adversary, the American Navy. For 40 years, your fathers before you and your older brothers played this game and played it well. But today, the game is different. We have the advantage. Now, it reminds me of the heady days of Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin, when the world trembled at the sound of our rockets. Well, they will tremble again at the sound of our silence. Plan, because if I do my job well, then they will not be able to find the nuclear submarines that I have, the boomers, and those will be able to strike everywhere and anywhere without warning. There is one little problem with using the boomers. Um, the nuclear submarine, or the ballistic missile subs, can only operate, or well, they can, no, they can operate from anywhere, but they can only rearm inside of your coastal territory. So if I were to send them, for example, all the way over here to, uh, let's say, hit the western U or eastern US, I could do that. However, I would need to sail them back, and that's why I want to focus on improved engines. Now, first up, we're going to have to set up some more defenses. It seems like the AI is perfectly happy to wait until I, tr I pull the, the trigger on it. And that means that we're first going to start queuing up some SAM sites and radar sites to go with it. I will also want to try and link up with East Asia. But first, I want to have uh, access to the boomers here, SSBNs. Nuclear-powered submarines have a unique ability to be underwater for up to six months at a time. New naval doctrines quickly requalified submarines as underwater missile carriers instead of the classic status of radar and special operations ships. Nuclear submarines cruise at specific depth, are always ready for battle, and remain practically unreachable by the enemy's anti-naval weaponry. Well, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. Whether that's actually going to pan out that way, that remains to be seen. Now let's set up some defenses around Moscow, as it's currently our largest city. The other cities around might happen to be uh, more or less protected by some of these SAM sites. 
but it's not really a uh, prime priority. I want to keep Moscow alive. All right, here we go. Let's set up an alliance. Uh, East Asia would be nice. Alliance, alliance formed. formed. Excellent. I want to share radar information alliance, alliance formed. Formed. and research. Alliance, alliance formed. formed. All right, we have a couple of other alliances. It's South America and West Asia. Really? That's an unlikely cooperation. That's uh, South America over there. And West Asia over here. And we have Europe and Africa. Oh, sorry, North America and Africa. So probably Europe and the Pacific are also going to join up. Unless I invite the Pacific first. If they haven't formed a formation already. No, I can't invite them. Crap. Okay. Now, I really want to not just share radar information, but also research. Yes, yeah, Pacific. Welcome. Alliance welcome, welcome. Alliance formed. formed. Thank you, gentle. Uh, share research. Nope. They really don't feel like sharing research. Alliance, Alliance ah, formed. There we go. So now I have three major factions. North America, Africa, South America, Europe, West Asia, and my own group of Asia, or East Asia, Pacific, and Russia. This is, at least for the moment, pretty fortunate, because it means I don't have to spend too much on defenses over here just yet. Um, this entire area is now linked together. So that means that I can focus my defenses around more strategic positions, like the border with Europe. Now, this is always a precarious position to put a SAM site, because park a destroyer over here... And anything nearby is going to get just easily wiped out. Some sites very much included. So I'm going to have to put it slightly farther away. And maybe build a destroyer of my own. To serve as an additional uh, anti... Well, anti-air defense, sort of. And at the same time function as a spotter. Which can defeat any units that are happening around here. Alright, it's time to speed this thing up. Because this is going to take a long time to research. Another SAM site over here. Now, at the moment, I don't really have any radars for them yet, but those are coming up soon. First, I need to keep these cities safe. Let's switch to nuclear war mode so I don't have to get the game paused every time. Oh, somebody's fighting. This is a Pacific carrier group. And they seem to have spotted an East Asian... No, sorry, that is an East Asian submarine, so that's an ally. Alright. Defense in depth. We're going to set up more SAM sites here. And time for a first radar site. Let's see what Europe's up to. Nothing at the moment. Okay. Europe's not doing much of anything. Um, I'll take a destroyer. So that I can put that over there, next to St. Petersburg. Enable radar coverage. Somebody's definitely fighting. Oh, by the way, this down here is not a friendly. I might want to invest in a few more SAM sites along that border. SAM sites and radar sites. At least I feel a bit safer, especially around Moscow, which is always a prime target. If I'm playing against Russia, it's my target. If I'm defending Russia, you can bet your ass that it's going to be a prime target for everybody else. Because the AI generally targets the major cities first. Alright, let's get this destroyer placed here. And see if I can find anything in Stockholm, Riga, Copenhagen. There might be something interesting out there. Now the standard submarines, I don't find them to be terribly useful. Um, they can sneak past enemy's defenses, yes, but I find that one or two destroyers easily blow them out of the water. So, um, I probably won't be using submarines too much. Now, there is the potential for getting missiles uh, attacked over the northern pole. There is a North American carrier group here, there's uh, a European carrier group here. These guys are just begging to get attacked, as far as I'm concerned. The thing is, I don't really have the strike assets to do that. At least, not right now. 
So for the moment, I'm probably going to have to just ignore those and uh, wait until the SSBNs come online before I start building a strike plan and start getting ready for an actual offensive action, which might not come in this episode. It might not yet come in this episode. I'm going to already pre-warn that right now because I don't want to rush it. Uh, no, I don't want air bases. I just want radar sites. In the previous, uh, or one of the previous builds, I actually sort of rushed it. And as you guys rightly pointed out, that was not the right choice to make. Because by rushing it, you're... Well, you're really leaping ahead into the battle, which you might not be entirely ready for. You might not be fully prepared to defend yourself. Oh, hello. Good lord, West Asia's carrier groups here doing what we can against those bombers, but there are a few too many for that one destroyer to take down. Unfortunately. But so be it. I can always build more destroyers. But it'll take them a little bit of time to start rebuilding the aircraft that they lost from that ship. From that carrier. Another radar coming online, and then another radar. I'm just gonna keep queuing these things up. Another radar side here. Mm. I'm not sure if I've ever had radar coverage this good. Not just in Russia, but in general. Uh, yeah, let's put it over here. Nothing else over there. The next research that I want to have is better information gathering. So we're going to go with uh, the improved long wave radar. Let's see. Where do I not have enough SAM sites? Let's say here ish. Nothing there yet. I don't like this carrier group over here next to St. Petersburg. Production complete. I really don't like that. We're going to have to try and get a couple of submarines out there to try and defeat that. They might go after my radar sites. The SAM sites will have a modicum of effectiveness against that, but it remains to be seen just how much range they have. And they might not have enough range to actually intercept any planes before they hit the radar site. Research All right, complete. we now have SSBNs. Boomers. These things come with submarine-launched ballistic missiles. They're not terribly destructive, but they can definitely deal quite the blow. Unfortunately, it takes a long time to build them. A carrier takes 11 minutes and 23 seconds with my current distribution between science and construction. An SSBN takes 21 minutes. And because it is a nuclear asset, it has a production efficiency of 11%. And that's because we really haven't been using that much in the sense of nukes. So this means that the production time is pretty negatively impacted. Ah, look at what I found. Look at what I found. That's a cruiser. The cruiser does not have any assets to deal damage against the sub. Their submarine does. But I'm hoping very much that my submarines are going to be better. Uh, after this one is done... Let's go for advanced silent engines. Decreases the range of enemy sonar equipment and increases the submarine speed. Further increases the range of torpedoes. That's what I want. Better torps. The long wave radar is going to come online any moment now. Research there we complete. Go. Have another submarine join this. Oh crap! Submarine sub. That was fast. So your subs are also quite good, huh? Oh, there's a destroyer out there. Shit. Uh, destroyers are particularly dangerous, and I'll definitely want to have advanced silent engines before I consider taking one of those things on. 
Let's go with improved shortwave radar after that one. Don't attack. Idiot. Oh, here comes the cruiser. Engage. Yeah, see? Research Submarines complete. are dead very, very quickly. Good lord, these things are fragile. And for some reason, we're attacking both the destroyer and the carrier at the same time. But it's, like, it's like the destroyer cannot do anything. Submarine oh. Sunk. Maybe not entirely. At least that carrier group is off of my northern coast. Hey, you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get back here. A little game against North America. <laughs> this makes Research absolutely no please. sense. <laughs> the way that those subs are getting destroyed. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. Okay. Um, those are ICBMs. ICBMs. I would like to improve the destructive capabilities of my SSBNs. But I'm not sure if I actually have anything that can be upgraded when it comes to the SSBN. I'm afraid I don't have anything. And that's the problem. Now, what I do want to have is better missile defenses. So we're going to go with advanced SAMs. In the meanwhile, I'll keep producing one more submarine. So this one at least has a buddy. But overall, I am really unimpressed with the capabilities of these submarines. Or actually, you know what? We're going to just have these sort of as a uh, larger barrier over the North Pole. Oh, I cannot move there. I thought the submarines were constantly playing games under the Arctic. But apparently, you cannot do that in this game. Okay. Right, maximum speed, and let's see if anybody else makes the first move. As of right now, it seems like they're not terribly interested. Everybody's just stocking up. Hey, there we go. We're now sharing research. That's better. What are my guys working on? Pacific is using thermonuclears. These guys are both using boomers. Oh, crap. And East Asia is also working on the thermonuclear bomb. Which, in case you haven't seen it yet, is this one. Unlocks the 10, 10 megaton bomb. Can we spot those DDs again? Or did they go all the way back? There, first SSBN's ready. Now, this thing has quite the range. He says enthusiastically and then can't figure out the range. Um, oh, right, yeah, they need to be surfaced. How far can they hit? I've used them once before, but... What's their hit indicator? Oh, here, draw attack radius. Duh. Okay, if I am somewhat of the northern coast of Iceland, let's say here... I might be able to hit quite a few of the US cities. But I'll need a submarine screen to make sure there's nothing actually out there. Uh, let's dive again, shall we? You are a submarine of all things, so... Might as well do submarine things. Now these things carry 12 missiles each. Which means that with 3 subs, I'll be able to launch 36 missiles. It Research remains to be complete. seen exactly how deadly that's going to be. But it might at least be able to strike at some of the targets that the guys have set up. Uh, oh, West Asia Carrier Group. Is that still there? Because I don't want to accidentally trip over that one. No, it's not there. Okay, good. That's the boomer. That's the uh, attack boat. Off you go. Another Red October sub is coming off the production line very soon. Production complete. 
There we go. New one. Um, I'll take another one. The thing is, once these things have fired their missiles, I'm going to have to restock them. And that means I'll have to build a load of these things. Production time is 52 seconds per missile. So I'll have to produce at least 36, which is going to take me a large amount of time. Now, I also want you to move here. Um, I am also building or researching a satellite so that I can figure out what I need to strike inside of the US. Um, no, I don't want to hit my allies, just North America. I don't have any specific target set up yet. The reason for that is that I first want to have a satellite and try and find their strategic assets. And, or, well, let's say the more tactical assets, um, carriers and such, I would at least want to know where they are. But I also want to figure out where their silos are so I can hit those first and then hit the cities. I first want to disarm them. Research complete. Alright, research complete. Let's go for... Um, mm -mm -mm. Advanced ABM. Boomer's almost done. Line up. So far, the AI is still pretty docile. Nobody has sent any nukes to their neighbors. Alright, so what is your attack radius? Right, so I cannot Production quite complete. hit to where I would like. Alright, let's get a satellite over the US. And that'll allow me to see what is going on in the middle of the US. In the meanwhile, let's get the subs moving again. Come on. No production, that's not good. Um, let's start producing a few more SLBMs. I mean, 42 or so. <clears throat> I'm not sure if every SSBM is going to make it back. But it is worth at least having a few of those on standby. Aha! We have spotted an airbase. All right, Alpha Plan is going to attack their defenses. So it's going to go after those, those, uh, and SAM sites. So what you can already see is that the two boomers that are in range are going to go for the airbase and the SAM site near Charlotte. That's good. That's a good start. Come on. Is the ice too dense or something? Four SLBM standing by. Five, six, seven. Now, who's the UI, who is the US allied to? To Africa. So let's say I disarm the US. What is that going to mean for Africa? Africa might start launching nukes from here to here. So I'll have to be ready for that and have potentially a few more SAM sites set up along the southern edge. Now I have a couple of them standing by. Um, let's go for a few SAM sites. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had this many SAM sites in the playthrough. Whether it's going to keep me safe remains to be seen. At least the larger population area over here seems relatively well protected. But then again, uh, <laughs> it remains to be seen whether that is actually enough. Alright, what's your attack radius? Decent. Decent. We can hit Toronto, we can hit New York, we can hit Chicago, Montreal. All of those things are going to take serious amounts of hits. I'm also considering going for an additional attack wave with a couple of missile silos. They'll be equipped with the Megaton ICBMs, which means that they'll not be terribly useful against cities, but I can still change that loadout to be the... Um... No, I can't. Never mind. I don't have that technology yet. What are my allies researching then? 
I would like the 10, ton, 10 megaton ICBM, but it's going to take me 56 minutes to get even to that. Um, in that case, I'm going to not use these for this mission. I'm going to use the missile silos, which I don't have yet. And then Bravo Plan is going to focus on the actual cities. That is the new idea. So I'll have two missile silos somewhere between all of these SAM sites. And hold on, I need to queue up another research. I'll have those SAM sites defend, at least as much as I hope. Uh, I'll have those defend those, in those uh, silos. And once that is done, I'll be able to continuously launch a couple of nukes their way. Their way being the US. Up until the point where the US is no longer an actual threat. Research complete. All right, that's the advanced ABM. Once that is done, I want advanced long wave radar so that I can continue on. Missile silo over there. All right, we have 20 seconds to launch Plan Alpha and Plan Bravo. That was cities coming out of SSBNs. If I strike now, what I'm going to hit are Montreal, Toronto and New York. And they'll probably get hit repeatedly, as these things each carry 12 missiles. Now our silo is ready. Uh, here. And with those two silos, I'll be able to then hit both the airbase and the SAM site. Let's see if I can tell what the US has access to. ABM. Great. Advanced ABM, even. Um, in that case, maybe it's worth it going for the MIRVs. <clears throat> Multiple independent re-entry vehicles. With these things, I can more likely penetrate the enemy's uh, anti-ballistic missile defenses. Research complete. It's just going to take me a while until I have those things ready. SLBMs are almost done. Um, I'll take another boomer, actually. Now, with the warhead production at 100%, building a boomer now not takes 20 minutes, but 5 so these things are far cheaper. And why you might wonder it goes to 8 minutes 8 is because these warheads are uh, still in the production queue. And once they're done, this thing is going to be completed. We've detected a carrier battle group from Europe. A couple of DDs from Europe. Unfortunately, I don't really know that much about Europe itself. Let's queue up a satellite so I have a bit more information about, what's Europe, uh, what, uh, about what Europe is doing before unleashing nuclear disaster upon the North Americans. Once I start shooting, I imagine everybody is going to start shooting. We do have an advantage, though, as the Red Alliance. We share research, and they don't. So they're all still researching tech for themselves, as opposed to sharing everything, like my faction is. This does not... Oh, hello. We have found a North American boomer. Boomer's dead. Mine is going to take a few hits. But will survive. I gotta build another couple subs. Good thing we caught that. Satellite ready. Hey, Europe. What's up with you? Airfield? Um, how badly do I want that airfield killed? What does Europe have? Do they have ABM? Well, they're working on it. Advanced ABM. So yes, they have advanced ballistic missile defenses. Uh, that means that one of these things is probably not going to hit. Unfortunately. I could include Europe in the plan. And target their airbase. But the thing is, that plan, that attack plan, is mostly geared towards... Uh, hold on, my production's almost done. Yeah. That attack plan is mostly geared towards taking out the assets from the North Americans. Not so much trying to focus down Europe. 
If Europe goes on the offensive with missiles and planes, I'm hoping that the western border can hold up. But probably not too long. And ideally I'd send a MIRV towards this airbase, making sure that those bombers can never be launched. Are the subs ready? Off you go. Oh, hello. That's another boomer. Submarine Shit. It took one of them out. Why the hell are you even on the surface? That makes no sense. There we go. He's now engaging the next one. So they're now throwing torpedoes back and forth. Take it down. Thank you. We need to have a bigger missile protect or um, <clears throat> SSN protection screen around the boomers. Because they seem to be taking a bit too much in the sense of hits. Uh oh, here comes the North European or the, the European Navy. What? Another SSBN from West Africa? Cut that out. This is the Red October strategy. You don't get to play a part of it. Boomer destroyed. Oh, shit. We're in trouble now. I want the SSBNs out of here. Yesteryear. And I want these guys to engage. Are the silos ready? How are you not attacking? We're not allies with Europe. It's like the thing is just refusing to go on the offensive. Are you really being so sneaky that they can't hit you? Submarine Jesus. See, this is why I'm not a huge fan of SSBNs and SSNs. I barely scratched them. These are submarines. They're supposed to be very effective against surface combatants. But the torpedoes seem to be just circling. Submarine sub. There goes another sub. Screw that. We're going to have to build a cruiser. Cue that cruiser up quickly. That was painful. This submarine is all but dead. Very, very little health remaining on it. I'll take another cruiser. Hey you, over here. Let's activate the space radar so I can see what sort of satellites are flying overhead, if any. A couple of European destroyers. Those are not the same ones that I just took out, right? Or that just took me out. Well, they might be. Yep, I think it's the same guys. Because one of them was wounded and the other one is not. Hmm. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Uh, I'm done building submarines. Let's go for cruisers. The problem with this cruiser is it is very much unupgraded. Uh, these help increase the range of torpedo. Oh! Uh huh. I kind of missed out on these. 
Because without improved powerful engines, my torpedoes just don't really have the range. I think that is maybe why I'm not doing as well. Research complete. Production's complete. Let's go with a couple of... Wait, are they automatic automatically upgraded? The MIRVs? Unlocks 3 times one m MIRV. Also requires heavy rockets. Fine. Production First, complete. upgrade the subs. Oh, sorry, the, the torpedoes. Um, and then build another two SSBNs. So far it's eerily quiet. The game officially has run for 2 hours and 45 minutes. But as of right now, not a whole lot's happening. Alright, that's the uh, medium in, medium engines. Now we're gonna go for improved engines. Boomer ready. Okay, Boomer. Over here. Attack range is still good. Three air bases. Yikes. Africa is gonna go on potentially an alpha strike. Using airstrike, using yeah, using airstrikes. Um, Plan Epsilon is going to focus on taking out the air bases from South Africa. So we have the Alpha Plan that's going to go for the destruction of the strategic assets from the U.S. SAM sites and air bases. Plan Bravo is going to go for the full destruction of Chicago, Toronto, Montreal, and New York. And Plan Upsilon is going to destroy the African defense, or, well, not defenses, but offenses, uh, offensive capabilities. Uh, and I can just use Megaton ICBMs for that. I don't really need anything stronger than that. Are these guys squaring off against each other? Or West Asia and... No, they're not friendly. Why would the hell <laughs> would they want to have their boomers on the surface? I think this is one thing that the uh, developers still may want to iron out. What was that? That's a destroyer from Europe. Research complete. Very good. Next research, heavy rockets. Range is now 450. Hell of a lot better. Okay. That's the fifth boomer that I now have. That's 60 warheads that can fly over and destroy most of the Production US. Complete. All right, we got five ICBMs standing by. Um, let's go for an over the horizon radar or two. And a bunch more SAM sites. Again, not a lot of action yet. I kind of did forewarn this. And the main reason is I don't want to strike too early. If I feel like I'm not ready yet. Hey, Europe. How about you get that DD off of this uh, part of the... Oh, good lord, that was destructive. There goes your DD. Maybe I can use the cruisers to sail towards Montreal and take out the SAM site over there. Maybe the same thing can be done for the airbase. The problem is that the cruisers don't have any kind of missile defenses. For that, you need destroyers, which I haven't yet built. It actually says it as a warning. Can carry ASATs, no missile defenses, or no anti-missile defenses, and vulnerable to subs. So for the moment, we're going to hold off on that until we have a destroyer escort. There's the over-the-horizon radar. Let's just plunk that down here in the middle somewhere. Really busy <laughs> this part of Russia. East Asia has also been amassing air bases. But so far it seems like the AI is waiting for me to take the first shot. Three air bases in the Pacific. And a nuclear silo. South America has no fewer than two aircraft carrier groups off of the coast of Adelaide. 
And it looks like they're trying to launch missiles. But... Yeah, there we go. It's missiles coming out of the destroyers. It's not the... Let's say the bad kind. Which actually destroy cities. These are just cruise missiles that are trying to destroy SAM sites. So, as weird as it sounds, it's not too bad. <laughs> it could be worse. I'm not sure if these guys are still trying to square off against each other, but it sort of seems like it. Another over-the-horizon radar. Let's put that one up over there. Research complete. Heavy rockets complete, finally. Now I can start building the MIRVs. Um, ship to ship missile increased. Yes, please. New SAM site, operational. Here. Carry on. Just stacking a whole bunch of SAM sites here now. Oh, Petropavlovsk might need a defense. Aside from that, you got Research nothing complete. to worry about over here. Ah, okay, that's good, that's done. Uh, hypersonic missiles. Radar coverage should still be very good. This is all that I can see. The radars, the, uh, the large, lighter areas are the satellites. So I have quite a bit of information here. We're now building a sub, followed by another sub and three destroyers. In the meanwhile, we're building better anti-ship missiles. Or sorry, air-to-surface missiles, you guys were right. SSMs were ship-to-ship -ship missiles. Uh, and ASMs are not anti-ship missiles. They are air-launched missiles. I did counteract a few of you guys on that. I'm sorry, you guys were right. I was wrong. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Because it does seem like they're still out there. For some reason or another. If you can hold for a second, your buddy can catch up. What are we looking at here? They're still there? Okay. That's just nuts. Uh, destroyer, follow the cruiser. Here we go. Torpedoes away. No, 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 my dear cruisers. No, you're not going to go on the offensive against the boomer. We got that covered. With the improved torpedoes, both of these boomers should be dead soon. I'm not sure why they're not attacking each other, though. It might be because they're both on the surface. Like, they cannot launch torpedoes when they're on the surface. Oh, they can. They are retaliating. Looks like the torpedoes can't quite find the intended target. Yep. Boomer destroyed. Now the DD's ready. Follow. Do I go on the offensive, yes or no? Uh, yes, but I want to have MIRVs. Hmm, those are a bit more expensive to build. 40 seconds, as opposed to um, 20 seconds for the Megaton ICBMs. Another DD. You, move, to here. Nope, follow, there. That'll help with NTV air defenses. All right, time to reload these silos with not the uh, Megaton ICBMs, but the MIRVs. That's one. I'm gonna need quite a few of those. Because they're great at overwhelming air defenses. No, 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 not yet. All right, all four silos are now standing by with MIRVs. 
This means that anything that gets lit up in the US is probably going to take it. Oh, hi. European destroyer spotted. It is trying to intercept some of the missiles, but it cannot attack all of them. There we go. Alright, this is where I'm going to leave you guys with the first part of this Red October strategy. Um, next part, I'm going to do tomorrow, and that'll include actually launching the attack. Because it feels like I'm just postponing it, but I do feel ready right about now. So join me tomorrow, as we are going to be hitting the Americans. Probably the Europeans too, and maybe, maybe the African continent, if I still have some missiles to spare. Anyway, you'll have to catch that tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching now. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing, and don't forget to have a look at the link in the page, or in the description down below, where you can find the link to the Steam page of this game, which will be free during the, Oct the, uh, yeah, the October Steam Festival. Which starts Wednesday, in two days. Uh, or rather, in one day, because I'm recording this on a Monday, it'll be live on a Tuesday, so uh, tomorrow. Anyway, that is all. Catch you tomorrow for more nukes.